Let's get back to our plants and pike whisper and make sure to watch part one of this case if you haven't already. The vertebral body is innervated by the basovertebral nerve, represented here by the yellow divercating structure. This nerve is formed by the sinovertebral nerves as well as contributions from the gray rami communicantes, which are branches from the ventral rami. Now the intercept procedure is performed by making a tiny incision over our target area, then carefully inserting a cannula, trans particularly under x-ray guidance. What you can see here as the red plastic enters into the vertebral body. We want positioning to be very precise for this procedure, placing our probe around the posterior one-third of the vertebral body and halfway between the superior and inferior end plates, which is about the area that the basovertebral nerve arborizes. We would subsequently insert a bipolar radio frequency probe through the cannula, then heat it to around 85 degrees Celsius for 7 to 15 minutes. We target vertebral bodies that have superior or inferior end plate modic changes, for which there are three types. Type 1 modic changes reflect active inflammation and show up as hypointense signal on T1 and hyperintense on T2 MRI sequences. Type 2 modic changes represent fatty bone marrow replacement and typically show up as hyperintense signal on both T1 and T2 weighted sequences. So our gentleman shows back up in the clinic one week later and says, you know what, I don't feel any different. In fact, my back's a little sore from the procedure. But three months roll around and says, you know what, I feel 70 to 90% better and I'm back gardening and going on long car rides. And that's because this procedure can take a while for the full effect to set in.